Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 3rd and 4th, Wednesday and Thursday for my Leos. Hello my Leos, how are you? Hope all is well and things are going well for you. Okay, short reading, so I'm just using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. So I had a, I had an epiphany of sorts, or with an idea that I really liked. So I, I had, I was doing readings over the weekend, came across a couple of people that had amazing energy. Um, we had Marcus in Las Vegas. He was one of the winners and then he, in the, of the contest. And then we had Petra in Germany. And she is a she is an energy healer, which is you know I mean, and she's very powerful, very strong. So we were talking, you know, all three of at uh, different times. I was talking to Marcus, I was talking to Petra, and talking about energy, and you know, both of them wild energy. And I came away with this conclusion that negative energy is junk food is junk food to the soul. It is both unhealthy and addicting. So I'm gonna get t I'm gonna get a T-shirt like that. Okay, um, so I wanted to share that with you. Now let's go on for my Leos for Wednesday and Thursday. And let's see what we have here. Okay, three cards all face down. Nothing is reversed. First card is the Knight of Earth. Earth is, of course, our Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It's our money. It's what we feel. It's our home. And this is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. So there is a divine element with this. And this is something about you doing what you, doing what you need to do. This is also about... Okay, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you see this card, it's about you actually doing, you know, it, it's an interesting card. I mean, it's, I'm getting an interesting feel with this right now. It's like doing what you know you need to do, okay? It's, it's if you know what you need to do, and you just need to do it, okay? So I'm just going to go there. Let's go see what our next card says. And our next card is the Five of Air, and Air is our... Gemini, our Libra, our Aquarius. It's our Wi-Fi. It's the thoughts that come into our heads, okay? Head. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So we're kind of in a, this, we're kind of in a um, stalemate. I'm hearing stalemate. It's kind of like, um, you know, that you, 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 need, you know what you need to do um, is that what's unwise or is it not doing what you need to do? Is that the unwise choice? It's your thoughts, you're, you know, you're, un, you're in conflict, you're, you're thinking, do I, don't I, what do I do type of thing. And, you know, but at the same time, you need to examine it and you need to really um, look at it from a lot of people or look at it from people, from different people's um, perspectives and also... I'm going to say question their motives too, because, you know, you could have people that are saying, oh, no, 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 you need to do this, and yet you don't feel like it's the right thing to do, and, you know, and you have to kind of say, huh, I wonder why that person thinks I should do this. Is it because they know but something that I don't know, or is it that they, you know, what is it? What is it? But when we go into this about doing what I'm feeling about this card, about doing what, you know, doing what you know to be right, there is a divine element to this. Whereas with this card about the unwise choice, there is more of a mental, um, a, you know, not a mental, it's more of a thought process element. So let's see what this last card says. Because, you know, let's see. Okay, this last card is... The eight of water. So water is very fluid. Water is very emotional. And that's our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But it's a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful. Spiritual and emotional growth. 
So here you have this thing. You know that you're supposed to be doing, you know, you know, and this is the energies that I'm talking about. You know you need to be moving on. You know you need to be doing this thing. You know you need to get this done. You need to do what you need to do. There's this divine element to it. You're, you're, you're doubting, though, do I do it? Don't I do it? Should I do it? You know, you're doing these pros and cons. You're making your list, pros, cons. No, I don't quite know. And then at the same time, it's like you need to, you, it's kind of saying you either need to make a decision or you need to move on. There's a, you know, spiritual and emotional growth with it. So that goes back with our divine element. It's a confusing, it's a conflicting type of energy for you this Wednesday and Thursday. You know, I'm a Leo also, so. But it, there is a conflict there, and it's an interesting element. Yeah, an interesting energy, I should say, okay? Um, we'll all know more come Friday. So, my Leos, as always, know that you are loved, and be blessed. Bye-bye.